Hey guys, CSDL here, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how I made my new updated Tony Stark arc reactor. It's fairly inexpensive if you have the stuff, some of this stuff lying around at home, and I only had to order or buy a couple things, so overall the price wasn't too bad. Okay, so here are some of the things that you will need. You'll need a template to cut your arc reactor out. Um, you'll need the piece of plastic to cut it out on. I used an old DVD case. You'll also need your light, um, whatever blue coating you're going to use to make the light blue, unless you got a blue light, but I suggest using a thin blue covering. Uh, my piece of plastic is from like just a blue plastic bag. A little piece of sandpaper to smooth down some edges, an X-Acto knife, and some scissors. And some things not pictured that you will need are like glue, adhesives, uh, adhesive tape, spray paint, and your magnets, but uh, I'll talk about those a little more as we get to those steps. I'll have a full list of what you need in the description box. So the first step is cutting out your arc reactor onto your plastic. So I cut it out on the paper first and glued the paper onto my plastic and then used the X-Acto knife to cut out all the little shapes and the circle and this is the final result. So once you have your cutout, go ahead and spray paint it with silver. A metallic silver works best. Uh, ignore the other piece next to it. I ended up using a metal backing so... Um, just disregard the thing next to my cutout. Next step is to glue your blue plastic onto the back of your arc reactor and I used a super glue for this part. And when it's done it should look something like this. So now that you have your blue plastic onto your arc reactor template, the next step is to put adhesives on to the back of that so you can stick it onto your light. The lights that I purchased did come with adhesives so you could stick them like on walls and stuff, but I used them to stick the arc reactor to the light. So all I did was take that double-sided adhesive that the lights came with, cut them up into small pieces, and put them onto the template where you wouldn't see them uh, through the plastic or anything and then carefully lined up the template with the light and this is what it should look like. Now, this is totally optional, but I did give the arc reactor top and the plastic a thin polyurethane coating for a little extra protection and to keep the plastic from getting ripped or something, but again, that's totally optional and only if you have the polyurethane lying around. Okay, so now, that you have your light and your template together. Now comes the really fun part, <laughs> putting on the magnets. Now, obviously that was sarcasm. This was my least favorite part, partly because I chose to use rare earth magnets because they are strong. And I needed them to be strong because I was putting the arc reactor through layers of clothing. Uh, I think a shirt layer and a sports bra layer. So once you separate your magnets, which is honestly the hardest part, I just used a like indoor adhesive tape to stick them to the back of the arc reactor and to the metal back that I found, which was just like the bottom of some cheap, I don't know, Christmas thing from Dollar General. Just look around and see what you can find that's a similarly sized metal circle. It's all you really need. And then you can go ahead and put on your magnets. Um, I did a triangle arrangement. Just remember when you are putting them on to arrange them so they attract each other and not repel each other. And just a quick note about rare earth magnets. While they are very strong, the magnets themselves can be a little brittle. So just be careful not to be too rough when you attach your back and the arc reactor together and maybe always have some kind of layer in between, like a shirt or just something, just so you don't have to replace your magnets because they shattered or something. And now we are at the finished product. 
And another cool thing about the lights that I found is that they also dim, so you can make them very bright or very dim depending on what you're going for for your photo shoot or a um, video. One other really cool thing I forgot to mention about these lights is that they are USB rechargeable, so you could even bring a charge pack with you to a convention or something and plug the arc reactor in and charge it while you're still at the convention. Though you might want to charge it a little bit before it gets super low, otherwise you have to turn it off to charge it, but if you catch it before it gets too low, you can have it charging while you're wearing it and you just look like Tony with a bunch of cords sticking out of him, which not that out of character. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. The lights were only $20 and the magnets were like $7 and the adhesive to attach the magnets was like, I don't know, maybe 5 or $6. So I didn't have to spend a whole lot to make this. Everything else I did have at home. Oh, and the lights do come in a pack of four, so if you want to make more than one arc reactor totally an option. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you like this tutorial and if you use it to make your own arc reactor, totally tag me on Twitter or Instagram. My links to those are on my profile or channel page. Otherwise, it's just at CSDL with the zeros at the beginning and the end. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.